Friends, today I'll be showing how you can make a DIY rubber band powered airplane at home and uh, for that you'll need some foam plates, some glue, fevicol as well as araldite, scale, scissors, two kulfi sticks that are easily available in the market, some tape and a pen. So let's get started. First of all, you need to cut the main portion of the foam plates. So here I have cut all the four pieces. We just need four plates and now we'll make the wing. And for the wing, we need to cut four parts each, which measure 22 by 5.2 centimeters. We need to cut four parts. So here I have cut all the four pieces. So now, We'll keep these aside and make the main body of the plane that we are making by joining these two bamboo sticks and that two kulfi sticks, sorry, and that two with a toothpick. So first of all, we'll break the toothpick into a small piece. Now we'll insert it into one of the sides of this kulfi stick and now we insert it into the second side now this will be the main body of the plane and now we'll just join the four pieces to make the main wing I'll join it using a uh, cello tape. So here when we are joining the first two parts, we will just tape them together. But when we have to join the third part, we will give some angle that is called dihedral. And for that, first we will take a piece of tape just like this and stick it on the below just like this now we'll take the third part and stick it down here yes just like this and then cover it up with another piece of tape here so that we get an angle with the third wing now just in the same manner we'll again stick the this wing also we'll first tape it down yes yeah, just like this tape it off so here our wing is ready and we'll just secure the joint on the main body with some tape that we had just joined just like this so here we have the wing as well as the main body ready so here I have made the elevator as well as the rudder and the measurements of the elevator are 11 by 4.5 centimeter and the rudder are 6 by 4.5 centimeter and now we are almost ready we just need to stick this at the back and the wing. Now we will stick this at the back using fevicol or you can use any other foam safe glue. Just like this. 
Now we'll stick the wing and we'll stick the wing 17 and a half centimeters back from the front. The length of the whole fuselage is 48 centimeters. We'll stick this also using Fevicol as Fevicol joints are very strong. And Fevicol takes almost three to four hours to stick. So we leave it and come back and make the propeller after this is done. Now it has been two to three hours after that. And now we'll just make the propeller. And in this video, I'll just be using a ready-made Gulos propeller. And if you want me to make a DIY propeller, please comment down in the comment section. Okay, so for this, we just need another piece of this kulfi stick and we are gonna just stick it down in the front just using tape. Okay, let us do this. Mm, the fevicol is still sticky. I think we'll need some more time for the joint to stick wheel. Now this is the propeller mount itself and we'll just insert the propeller here. Just like that now. I will just use the plier to thin this. just like this so the propeller can fit this is not fitting so. you will also need to make some adjustments to make the propeller fit properly Now it has fit. So now the plane is almost ready and it looks something like this. And we'll just let the fabricant dry. Think it needs some more time. Now the plane is almost ready and for the rubber band you can use a hobby grade rubber band that I'll provide the link where you can, you can buy this and if you don't have any of them you can also use the normal rubber bands for that you need to join two to three rubber bands to make some elasticity but still the rubber band has a major impact on the flight time. So I'll recommend that you should use the hobby grade rubber band to get the best outputs. Friends, so today we are out for the flight test of the plane that we made. And before the flight test, I would like to tell you some modifications that I made. First of all, I stuck some wooden sticks on the plane that uh, wings of the plane just because they do not get crushed in the air and I also added some back weight. This is done just because to balance the weight as you can see the propeller is quite heavy and you can test the weight by just letting it glide. As you can see here the glide is perfect, a bit nose heavy. 
that is perfect for the flame so now we will be doing the test light you have to wind from right to left so that the propeller pushes wind in the back